Hi everyone, welcome back to Hockey Fever TV, welcome back to the preview show of the FIS Pro League. European leg men and women uh, run the team, uh, both the teams we are going to see the preview. So, first in the video we are going to see the men's competition. So, in that we will go first go into the standings. So, standings, Netherlands on top with 12, 12 matches played with 26 points, Netherlands are leading the table with Australia number 2 with 20 points, India on yes, number 3 with 15 points. So, uh, when we see, look at the table, we see Netherlands have played 12 matches and they have secured 26 points. Australia, India, Argentina and Spain, Ireland have played 8 matches each. In this, the number of the less matches played teams are Belgium, Great Britain and Germany which we are going to meet in the uh, European leg. So, in the Indian point of view, we have to play uh, Belgium on the 23rd and uh, again Belgium on the 25th. Uh, 26th is the match against Argentina. So, and 22nd also we are playing Argentina. So, I just left that. Sorry for the mistake. So, again, so these matches are played at uh, in Antwerp, which is Belgium. So, from there India moves on to London where they play Germany on 1 1st June that is at 2.30 p.m. and again uh, 2nd June India is playing Great Britain at 4.45 again on 8th Germany it is at uh, 9.45 p.m. and Great Britain again the return match is at 7 p.m. on 9.06 so <coughs> before the Paris Olympic this is the acid test for the Indian team, it will be interesting when we when we note the how the other teams they play their players. They will be, they play the main team, the main players who will be playing in the uh, Paris Olympics, or will they mix them up, mix them up, mix the youth, youth and uh, experienced players, and don't give uh, the uh, opponents the chance, clear chance of what they are up to in Paris. So that is very important, India. In uh, Craig Fulton's uh, perspective, in uh, in his perspective, so he is not wary of giving his uh, playing his best combination because one another word is saying nobody knows which is the best combination for which team. So anyhow, it will be a good uh, analysis, analytical uh, job for, from the coaches, analytical war like. So how they will they, will they play all their cards? Never. I to hope that they will not uh, play all their cards in this game. In this uh, FA Pro League, uh, they will have surprise cards waiting for the Olympics. So, uh, important, important leg for the uh, Indian team and for as well as the other teams preparing for the Olympics. So, the main target for them will be perform well here, get good, good results, and take the momentum from here over to the, from the momentum from the FA Pro League to the Paris Olympic Games. Will be interesting, very interesting to watch. So that is what we are expecting. So Indian point of view, have to get the best combination for the uh, Paris Olympic Games. So 24 member team has gone for the FIS Pro League and hope they get their combination right, perfect combination to the Paris Olympics. To remind you again, only 16 players are permitted to play in the Olympic Games. So who will make the 16? It will be known after the FAH Pro League. So good luck to them and we'll be watching them and we'll try according to our plans. We'll be uh, trying to come into the watch along and try our best. Most of the matches will be coming. So we have some preoccupation. So we will be informing you about the watch along. and. Now we move on to the women's section, women's, women's Indian women's and we will just see the women uh, standings first, Netherlands as usual, 12 out of 12 wins, 36 points, they are going like anything, second place, China and uh, with 15 points, so a uh, big gap between the first place and the second place team, but Netherlands as uh, like their men counterparts, they have played 12 matches. So, Indian point of view, India is at number 6 now, uh, played 8 matches, 2 wins, 1 draw, shootout bonus 1 and 5 losses. So, it is a, a 
a bit of a concern for the Indian women's women's team. So, we, and the schedule for the Indian women's team is the 22nd India versus Argentina. That is at 3:45, 3:45 uh, uh, p.m. Uh, Indian Standard Time. Belgium versus India on 23rd of May. That is at 10:15 uh, p.m. Again, on 25th India plays Belgium. Again at 5:30 p.m. And the on um, uh, 1st June in Germany versus India. That is at 9:45 p.m. 2nd June Great Britain versus India 7 p.m. Uh, on the 8th of June Germany versus India again the return leg 2:30 p.m. in the Sunday time and on the 9th in Great Britain versus India the return leg at 4:45 p.m. So Indian women no Olympics for them. So the only uh, team in the FA Poli who are not going to the Olympics is India so it is a little bit of concern for India so they have to leave their disappointment behind them with the new captain Salima Tete, new coach hope they can regroup themselves and put up a good show it will be a tough for both the men and women team playing Belgium, playing Great Britain, playing Germany and playing Argentina so it is going to be interesting to see how the teams perform. So Indian women team, lot of concern. So they play, they won the Nations Cup and they qualified for the FH Bowling. Now they stand at number six. If they finish at the bottom, they will be relegated. That have to be kept in mind. Relegation means you have to play, play again the Nation Cups and, and get qualified. So India has to be wary of what is happening, what went wrong in the Olympic qualifiers in the past. So all the recti rectification works would have done and as the men are concerned, the failure uh, 0-5 loss to Australia in the test series, they will keep, be keeping in mind, uh, I know their uh, weakness and I know their, what went wrong in, in the Australian test series and work on them. So we will be seeing how much work has been done with both the teams and hope they come up with a good performance and hope the teams do well and it will be interesting to see the Netherlands both men and women are top of the heap and they will be raring to win the face uh, league and take the momentum to the Olympics so India may, men have to finish in the podium that will be a great uh, morale booster for them taking the uh, momentum to the Olympics so women has to focus finish on uh, uh, finish among the six uh, top six that will be a good performance for the for the woman uh, keeping in mind their disappointment and uh, everything so if, if they are able to stay in the top six it will be a very good performance from them we even though we hope them also to go above what they are placed now so both the teams have hit in them they have to believe it believe themselves and come up with a positive results in their face league so Good luck to both the teams and we will be back with another video soon and until then it is bye from Hockey Fever TV.